Hi, in this video I'm showing a new feature which is, has been added to Xkeen that is the ability to show simulation data inside the schematic. So, uh, displaying simulation waveforms without using an external uh, wave viewer like GAW or NGSpice itself. This has been done because uh, there are no, no really good uh, waveform viewers around uh, and so I tried to, to do something myself. Of course, this is uh, an initial implementation, and I my plan is to add more functions uh, along the way. Okay, let's see an example. For example, this one. Let's remove existing graphs. Okay, you can now add a waveform graph from the simulation menu like this. You see a box is added with a graph inside it, and there is also a command to load simulation data. So the RAW file produced by a simulation, a SPICE or a XICE simulation. I am assuming here you already run a simulation on this schematic. So a poweramp.raw file is assumed to be already there in the simulation directory. So I click this graph and uh, oh, there is no really need to click the graph. Anyway, I load the simulation data. Xkeem will load in all the data from the SPICE simulation and I am now able to, to send data to this graph. You can create, add more graphs if you wish, like this, so we can have uh, two graphs. If you click one of the graphs, you decide where your data will go. Next, we, in the usual way, you click on it and press the Alt G key, your data will go to the, select, the last selected graph. If you press F, inside the graph you will do a full zoom in the horizontal direction if you press f while the course while the mouse mouse pointer is here you will do a full uh, vertical fit of the signal you can press another net and alt g again and you will see another net added to the waveform you can um, if you click the left mouse button you can drag the mouse with you can drag the waveforms with the mouse this way. If you click here, you can move vertically like this. And if you use the mouse wheel, you can do the same thing right here and here. And if you use the mouse wheel by pressing the shift key, you are zooming in and out your signals like this for the vertical direction and like this for the horizontal direction. Okay. Now I can click another graph and send uh, another signal there, for example this one, the supply positive voltage, Alt G, and I can press this one, the negative supply voltage. I don't see the waveform because the view viewport must be adjusted, so go here, press F key, and you see the two supply voltages. I can press the A key to display a cursor, which allows me allows you to measure your signals in every X point, like this. And you can press the B key to add another cursor that can be used to measure the difference, horizontal difference between signals, for example, delays and whatsoever. Okay, this is a, a very basic function functionality for analog signals, so you can uh, experiment with this. And everything you do on this graph is saved with the schematic. Once you save your schematic if you exit uh, the program everything will be saved so all the configuration will be saved uh, the way from the colors the position and if you uh, rerun your simulation you just need to unload the data and reload again and you will see the updated simulation data in your schematic okay let's now see a more complex example for example this one this is a mixed uh, design, so digital analog design, where I also need to see digital data together with analog data. So the, in the usual way, I add, I first unload any existing data, I add a new graph like this, and I start adding from signal, for example, the clock, Alt G. Okay, 
if you do a full zoom in the horizontal you see your clock and next I want to add uh, some other signals now another function that is available is if you double click your graph let's say let's move the graph around a little bit move it above here if you double click inside your graph you will see a configuration dialog box appearing here where you can set many attributes for example you can set the, the unit for the x-axis for example nanoseconds like this or you can set the number of divisions in the x-axis for example this one whatever let's say let's use the previous one you can set uh, many other features and also the minimum and maximum voltage values for, for your signals and you can also add uh, buses so if you have a bundle of signals and you want to display this bundle as a single bus first of all you search your signals for example I want the output of this block the output is a, is a bus of 16 uh, bits like this uh, from 15 to 0 I select all these bits I can add these bits here and but instead of uh, of viewing this signal as a, as a single bit I want to display this signal as a bus so what I need to do first of all change your graph to digital format and then again look for your signals select them all and you want a bus you click add here you have a template bus name I change this bus name to LDQ because this is the name of my bus and there you are you have your bus here you can zoom in to see the voltages and uh, as of course if you if you have uh, these buses already in your schematic for example the other bus this one you don't need to select uh, from the list box here you can press this signal and press with the bus checkbox selected here you can select your signal press alt g and you will will have your bus added automatically to your graph like this one okay I think this is a nice feature to see complex data you can then add more data to your graph like uh, single bits like this one this one I analog or digital doesn't matter and this one and let's use this one and this one okay so this is uh, your setup as, as before this will be saved you can use cursors by pressing the A key, the B key to see to see delays, measure, for example, the clock period like this. Okay, and uh, you can double click inside the graph to show this configuration. You can, for example, pr set the cursor in in between of a signal to change the color, for example, this one. Okay. So I think there are a lot of nice features to see to see your data. You can also switch back this uh, graph. For you can, for example, let's copy this graph to a new one using the usual xkeem commands to copy an object, and switch this one to by click double clicking inside the graph. We switch this one back to analog. Okay. So you have a, a dual view. The upper part is an analog view and the vertical and the bottom part is the digital view so you can see the details of your signals you can uh, right click on the signal name to see the signal in bold like this of course when uh, you are in analog mode you don't see the buses however if you switch back to digital you see your buses again as before okay so let's turn back to analog mode so if you double click on a signal name you can change the color like this and uh, if you want to better see a signal you can right click on the name to see the signal in bold and the same for a digital plot like this so you can select a plot to better see it if you have many signals I think this is a useful feature and as before if you save your design everything uh, is saved you can unload the data 
and if you update your simulation, run again your simulation, reload the data and you see the updated waveforms. And everything is saved together with the schematic. I think this is a useful feature. I think you like this uh, new addition. Thank you for watching.